great day, family. Yo, check it, man. <laughs> Trying to depend upon our own limited human understanding will drive us crazy. That's where anxiety and depression comes from. Trying to control what is not within our control. The only thing that exists in the now. Yet most people live, what is it? They don't live in the now, they live for the now. Most people live for the now. Always thinking about later and tomorrow. Never living in the now. Never being present. Never appreciating the present. The gift that is this present now. You get what I'm saying? We cannot foretell the future. We can plan as best as we can. But the best that we can do is live in the now and do the best that we can with what we have at hand. Comparison is the thief of joy. All right, family, the more we compare ourselves to others, to what others are doing, to what others have, to where others are at in life and we are not, what we don't have, what we can do, the less time that we have to appreciate what we do have, what we can do, and where we are in life, and the opportunity that our present circumstances, situation presents to us in life. For the growth of our intellect, our mental faculties, for the growth of our emotions, our feelings, and for the emotion for the for the for the opportunity of developing our willpower and the opportunities that we have made available to us in the present moment. You get what I'm saying? The best thing, the best that we can do is do the best that we can with what we have at hand. The most precious gift of life is the present. This is all that is, the now. Gratitude, family. Appreciation for what is. Gratitude is what keeps us in closer connection to the source of those things which allow us to feel grateful. Being grateful for what we have, who we are, and who we wish to be for the visions that we do get from infinite intelligence, from the cosmos, from source, from God, whatever be it, that allows us that space, you know what I'm saying? Being grateful for, for, for everything that we have allows us the space and the, the, the clarity of thought to, to make best use of our present moment, of our now. Not leaning on our own understanding or what we think we should know allows us to appreciate now. See, we cannot foretell what will happen later or tomorrow. We can plan for later. We can plan for tomorrow. But the only way that we have the insight, the clarity, the awareness, and the focus to plan for later and tomorrow is by doing the best that we can with today, with now. Only by doing the best that we can with today and now do we create the mental space to do the best that we can with the resources of the time that is made available to us in the future. A lot of the things that I do, a lot of the healthy habits that I've continued to apply to my life have just happened because I have been having the visions of the kind of life that I want for myself. We manifest what we think most. As a man thinketh, so is he. As a man thinketh in the kingdom of his mind in heaven, so it is with where his heel touch here on earth. Heaven and hell are both within. As we think, so we feel, and as we think and feel, so we act. That is the trinity that cultivate or destroy the soul of, ind of the individual, the soul of man. Solomon's temple can only be built by the right conscious mind, by a man, an individual that uses his consciousness in, right, in the right way. Your mind is your garden. Your consciousness is the gardener. You must be mindful of the way that you garden your place. These wonderful bodies are as much as the temple of God, 
the temple of consciousness as also the prison of the devil a place that embodies that houses chaos you get what i'm saying as much as it enhouses the order that allows us to be able to live out these wonderful experiences as humans you know what i'm saying hue the hue the spectrum of everything in nature and this masterful artistic manifestation of nature made man you get what i'm saying so it is the prison the prison that houses you know everything else that is disorderly and chaotic so if we don't live an orderly and structured life then we fall to disorder and chaos and we never become or have what we truly want out of life so to end this rant lean not on your own understanding as the good word says and in all your ways trust the law trust the law that states that as we sow so we shall reap try not to control everything and simply meditate focus on your breath and place your mental space your material resources your energy your attention and your time on that which is within your control what what you think and believe how you allow yourself to feel and what you allow yourself to do focus on your faith your fitness your family your relationship with friends and intimate individuals your finances i.e the wise management of your material resources your vision of a better future so that your vibrational frequency attracts into your life what you wish to manifest